For as many videos that I've done on portable power stations like this, you might think that it gets harder and harder to talk about simply because a lot of them are honestly pretty similar. But the one thing that does stand out more and more, especially these days, is the difference in battery chemistry, which makes them safer, but also more energy dense, allowing them to provide more power without getting significantly bigger. Case in point, this unit right here, the new Dabson DBS 3500 power station, one of the first devices on the market with a semi-solid state battery chemistry. Let's check it out. Now for full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Dabson, but of course the opinions that I express here are definitely my own. And I have to say, this powerhouse definitely packs a punch, delivering a continuous 3600 watts of AC output with the built-in inverter. But if you do need more power than that, you can actually simply pair two of these together, delivering 7000 watts, which is enough to power pretty much anything in your entire house, if not your whole house itself. Needless to say, this thing is a beast, but it's honestly a lot lighter than what you might expect. This base unit does have 3,430 watt hours of capacity, but if that's not enough, it does seamlessly integrate into Dapson's expandable battery ecosystem, allowing you to connect up to four DBS 5300B batteries for an impressive 28,140 watt hours of capacity. And additionally, if you do parallel two of these units together, you do get 240 volt split phase operation, giving you ultimate flexibility in managing your power needs so that you can power larger appliances in your house that you typically can't do with smaller units which means you can power up a heat pump, your air conditioner. And when I say air conditioner, that's your whole home air conditioner, not just one of those window units. Some of the feedback that I've gotten over the years from a lot of people when talking about portable power stations like this is that they're simply not comfortable with larger battery units with lithium batteries in their house just because of all the negative things that they've heard about them. But if power safety is something that's important to you, the topic is also paramount for Dabson as the DBS 3500 features EV grade semi-solid state battery lithium ion phosphate cells with an eight layer BMS protection system. It ensures that it's exceptionally safe when the system is in use and there's also a built-in AI temperature and energy management system that further optimize battery life to make sure that you get at least 4,500 charge cycles before the cells deplete to 80% of your original capacity. But the battery chemistry themselves is really what makes this unit as stable as possible. Not only can the cells be used in colder and warmer temperatures when compared to traditional lithium batteries, but they're also much safer when it comes to catastrophic failures. As you can see in this video clip, Dabson has conducted puncture tests on a variety of different battery cells and the ones that are used inside of this unit. And as you can see, they definitely fare a lot better than the competition. And I have to say, it's nice to have that added peace of mind when it comes to having such a large power station sitting in your house at all times. If you go back one to two years, one of the main issues that most power stations have is slow charging speeds. That's definitely not the case with this unit as the DBS 3500 offers 1800 watt charging from the standard 120 volt outlet. In my testing, it pulled an average of 1,650 watts until it reached 95% capacity and then slowed down to about half of that for that last 5%, taking just a little bit over two hours to go from zero to 100%. Of course, the large battery capacity on the inside does mean that this unit is pretty heavy, coming in at 40.2 kilograms, but the DBS 3500 is a little bit more ergonomic and portable than you might think, with built-in handles on the top for easy lifting whenever you need to do that. But simply push this button here on the top and you get an expandable telescoping suitcase-like handle, and then you have wheels at the bottom, which means you can roll this around incredibly easy, as long as you don't need to pick it up that often, moving it from one location to another is actually pretty simple. I have to admit, I am pretty impressed with the ergonomics of this unit and the only hard part was getting it up to the office, but once it's been up here, moving it around has been incredibly easy. But how does this unit perform day to day? So let's talk about that quick. On the front here, we have three USB-C ports, two of which offer 100 watt output and the third one is limited to 30 watts. And then we have three USB-A ports for any of your older devices if you need to charge anything that's slower than that. And then along the left hand or 
right hand side, we have four AC outlets at 20 amps and then a 30 amp RV style plug as well. And then alongside there, right above that, we have a flap that has all of our input options ranging from solar chargers, AC, and then also the infinity port, which can be used to fast charge the Datsun from an EV charging station. And then along that side there, there's also the AC charge speed button. As I mentioned before, this can do fast charging, but if there are any instances in which you wanna charge the unit slower than that, there is a charge speed switch here on the right-hand side. Simply switching that down will reduce the charging speed of the unit. And this can help with the longevity of the battery as well, giving you additional charge cycles over the years. With so many devices these days using DC power over USB, it's nice to see that we have six ports on the front to power them. But if you do need to power a lot more devices, that's where you're gonna have to rely on the AC outlets on the side of the unit. And the fact that this has a 3,600 watt inverter built in means you can plug in pretty much anything that you want. Honestly, you can load up the power strips and extension cords here and power dozens of devices all at once. To test it out, I actually plugged in a space heater which draws 1500 watts, a toaster and an air fryer and use them all at the same time. That pushed the inverter to a little bit over 3000 watts, which is well within the limits of what this unit can handle. But a more realistic use case would probably be powering my home office here with my desktop gaming PC behind me, a 32 inch monitor, my desk lamp, studio lighting, this one right here, which I keep on all the time, and a handful of other devices that are always charging. And that comes in right around 250 watts. But thanks to the built-in UPS, I would actually be able to plug everything in and run the power through this system at all times. And in case of a power outage, this then the UPS would kick in and immediately switch over to the internal battery so that all of my devices continually stay on. And that's incredibly important for me, especially while I'm doing work, especially when I'm editing videos just like this one. If you are using the Dabson DBS 3500 to keep your essentials turned on in case of a blackout, the internal battery capacity here does have more than enough power to keep your essentials like a refrigerator, a handful of lights, and all of the mobile devices for you and your family charged up for at least a day. If you think you'll need more than that though, I definitely recommend picking up one or two of the expandable battery modules to double or even triple the overall capacity of this entire system. And you can also connect up to 2,400 watts of solar to charge the battery here from zero to 100 in about an hour and a half. This would definitely extend how long you could go in case of a blackout from one day up to pretty much as long as you want it. And it's perfect for an off-grid system as well. Being able to use this in conjunction with the solar panels means you definitely don't need power in case you're out in the middle of nowhere. Well, if you made it this far in the video, you probably have one more question. How much does the Dabson DBS 3500 cost? Well, the full retail price is $3,000. And no, that's not exactly cheap, but it's about $500 less than what you would typically pay, which is the $1,000 per kilowatt hour price for units com comparable to this one. But since Dabson is currently taking pre-orders, you can save yourself $1,000 if you pre-order one before the end of March, bringing that final price down to $1,999, which honestly is a pretty incredible steal. Be sure to check out the link in the video description for more details on the Dapson DBS 3500, or if you have any questions for me and how it's been going over the last couple weeks as I've been using it, drop those in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thanks to Dapson for sponsoring this video. I'll see you in the next one.